We have just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has what? been indicted. I just hung up with the former president. He tells me that uh, he just learned of the news, said it's an attack on our country, said it's political persecution. He went Donald Trump is now the first president in American history to be indicted. So I have the details and I have Trump's first reaction 10 minutes ago. This is from 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to get to his truth. I'll also get to first, I'll get to the clip from uh, someone on TV talking about his discussion with Trump. And then I'll get to the truth and then I'll get to Fox News reacting to this news. All of it's good stuff. <laughs> so let's uh, first start with just a, a baseline understanding of uh, what's going on here. So from CBC News, a lawyer for former U.S. President Donald Trump said Thursday he's been told that Trump has been indicted in New York on charges involving payments made during the 2016 presidential campaign to silence claims of an extramarital affair with uh, Stormy Daniels. It's the first ever criminal case against former a former U.S. president and a jolt to Trump's bid to retake the White House in 2024. Trump has insisted he did uh, absolutely nothing wrong. And his lawyers have said the charges are politically motivated. I'll tell you why they are not, very clearly why they are not, in a bit here. And he suggested that he was a victim of extortion. Okay, sure. Uh, so the indictment has yet to be unsealed, but it appears to be about those those uh, payments. Manhattan uh, District Attorney Alvin Bragg said his investigative team were probing whether Trump falsified business records, connect the payments in a way that could constitute a campaign finance violation. And again, I will get to a very clear reason as to why this is not political in nature. But first, let's get to uh, the this is a, a reporter that spoke with Trump. And here is what Trump told the reporter. And then I'll get to what Trump is saying on Truth Social. I just hung up with the former president. He tells me that uh, he just learned of the news, said it's an attack on our country, said it's political persecution. He went on to say, David, they are trying to impact an election. I asked the former president, uh, does he plan to turn himself in? David, he said, you take care, John. And then he hung up on me. So I think we're going to have to wait and see. But obviously, all of our reporting has been that the former president does indeed intend to head to New York. Uh, maybe didn't want to give me that piece of information just yet from him. But something that we know his team has been in active conversations right now with the Secret Service of what that is going to look like. All right. All right. So he may not want to admit it to this reporter, but it sounds like that Trump is going to turn himself in if he is headed to New York to, you know, uh, figure out this entire process so it's unlikely we're going to see him in handcuffs uh, maybe we will <laughs> i don't think we're going to see that it's also unlikely he'll go to prison but this is because he's very powerful someone already went to prison for this exact crime we'll get to that in a second but here is trump on truth social 14 minutes ago these thugs and radical left monsters have just indicted the 45th president sorry indicated <laughs> The uh, <laughs> oh my god, of course, uh, the forty fifth president of the United States of America and the leading Republican candidate by far for the twenty twenty four nomination for president. Okay, this is an attack on our country. Blah blah blah. The likes of a, of which has never been seen before. It is likewise a continuing attack on our once free and fair elections. The USA is now a third world nation, a nation in serious decline. So sad. A third. It, if anything, this brings America to closer to democracy, where powerful people that break the law are actually held accountable. Doesn't happen very often, I have to admit. <laughs> but here is a case where it is apparently happening. So this uh, is very fun. Now, here is why this is not political in nature. All right. So uh, Alvin Bragg's investigation appears to have focused on the $130,000 payment uh, or paid uh, by former Trump lawyer and fixer Michael Cohen, who has said he fronted the money involved in the Daniels transactions to ensure her silence ahead of the 2016 election, and later was reimbursed by Trump. The reimbursement payments were erroneously classified as legal fees previous investigations have found. Cohen served time in prison for this. For tr Trump telling him to do that. <laughs> Trump is the co-conspirator. Trump faced no jail time. Cohen went to jail. After pleading guilty in two federal criminal cases, including one that involved the campaign finance violations related to Daniels and another woman who alleged an affair with Trump, he also pleaded guilty to lying to Congress and his credibility has been attacked by Trump's defenders, which could undermine his strength as a witness, which is ridiculous. Uh, how? 
Cohen went to jail after admitting everything. So you could say before, he, you know, he's not a good witness because he lied and lied and lied for Trump. But after coming clean, it's very clear that uh, Cohen is being honest about what happened now because he went to jail for it. Now, let's get to the uh, Fox reaction. All right. So uh, <laughs> let's start with the first announcement. This is uh, you can hear an audible gasp as uh, Brennan writes here, an audible gasp as they announce this. Here, uh, we have just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has what? been indicted hmm. by a grand jury in New York. Trump was under investigation by the DA's office for his alleged hush money payment to adult film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 campaign. Let's play that audible gasp one more time because that was so enjoyable. Here, uh, we have just gotten word <gasps> former President Donald Trump has what? been indicted. <gasps> what? Great. Just great. Uh, now let's get to some arguments, starting with Jesse Waters, who starts his argument by saying he never went to law school, but he <laughs> definitely knows Trump is innocent here. So uh, check this out. I never went to law school, so I'm going to respectfully disagree with Trey Gowdy <laughs> and say it's a bookkeeping issue. Why? Why? Because if you settle a private civil matter with a woman and you have your lawyer handle it, what other column are you supposed to put the payment into? I don't know. I'd put it under the legal column. The whole thing is BS. All right. <laughs> That's not much of an argument there, considering Michael Cohen already went to jail for this. Here is uh, someone else. Oh, no, this is Jesse Water again. All right. God. Are this the same clip? We're going to find out. So maybe the left's calculating. That indicting this guy is going to get him the nomination and they think he's easier to beat. But I wouldn't be so sure about that because there's going to be a major rally around the flag feeling. I'm starting to feel it right now. I'm angry about it. I don't like it. The country's not going to stand for it. And people better be careful. And that's all I'll say about that. People better be careful? What's that supposed to mean? Country's not going to stand for it. Even though, uh, actually, the country thinks that 57 to 38 uh, percent think criminal charges should disqualify Donald Trump from running for president again if charges are filed against him as a result of multiple state and federal criminal investigations, according to Quinnipiac. So 57 percent of people think that this disqualifies him. Now, of course, the breakdown is very clear. Democrats, 88 to 9 percent. Independents, 55 to 36 and uh, Republicans 75 to 23. So they don't agree, but a majority of both Democrats and independents think that, yeah, this is disqualifying. I will say, though, I kind of hope it's not because I think Trump is a much worse general election candidate than someone like Ron DeSantis, who is more of a, an unknown figure on a national scale, definitely has doesn't have the anti-vote the way that Trump has. Let's be clear. Biden won 2020 be largely because of the anti-Trump vote, not because Biden was some uh, some politician who, you know, really got people excited. No, <laughs> Biden won because Trump is terrible. So if Trump is on the ticket again, it's just going to help Democrats. But we'll see uh, where all that goes. This to be clear, this does not disqualify Trump. I mean, even behind bars, I'm not clear uh, on whether or not that, that that would disqualify Trump or not. But a simple indictment will not disqualify him. We'll see where it all goes, though. Uh, last thing here, just on... Here's Ben Shapiro reacting to this, another conservative. An act of legal absurdity. This is the uh, fact over feelings guy. I think it's his pinned tweet still. Facts don't care about your feelings. Uh, how about the fact that Michael Cohen served time for this already? Yeah, okay facts don't matter in Ben's world. But there you go. Uh, of course, more will come out about this. We'll be discussing this. If you're watching this as this happens, we'll be discussing this, I'm sure, today, tonight on the uh, Leftist Mafia podcast. Check that out. I will uh, link to that playlist below this video on YouTube. But uh, I don't even know what else to say. <laughs> this is a long time coming. I hope there are more to come. This is not the most important case in the world. There are worse things, like in Georgia, that whole case, much worse. But this is a start to actually see somebody in a position of power and wealth held accountable is a great thing.